good afternoon. You can see we got a bunch of stuff out here. Oh, by the way, I hope you all had a great week. But today, I want to get this. I don't know what you call it. Vegetable stand, if you will. We're just going to kind of get this put together. I want it to be movable because it's nothing. It's just going to be for the garden. Just enough to set it off the ground. I want to keep it somewhere in this corner over here of the garage. But at the same time, I don't want the animals in it. So I'm going to have to come up with some type of system to keep it off the ground and keep it away from the animals. Keep the animals away from it. And I don't know how to do that yet. I think uh, I don't have the, the chicken wire I need to really keep them out. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. They seem to not bother it over there. But here closer to the woods and they may but let's try to put this together uh, it's going to be kind of primitive because really it's just for this year hopefully we have a real garden next year and we won't need to utilize this but who knows we might utilize this for something else in the future Well, she turned out a little bit taller than I expected, but it did turn out well. And it's uh, high enough. We'll get some chicken wire maybe across the top. We'll get all the, the plants up in here. It's movable, so I can move it around if I need more sun, less sun. I got some options here. I think I will lay some 
some material down here, staple it in, some black material. All right, we got her set up all real nice like all the uh, plants on, on the table. And then, uh, yeah, them anchor bolts for like their anchor studs for walls. They were just temporary, it's all I had on hand because I forgot to buy some at the hardware store. And I think this is gonna work out really well. We may still get some chicken wire to put up top here to kind of protect everything, but we'll see how the animals do. I did want to give you guys, a show you guys a little, little something here. Look at what we got here. We got some old maters coming out. We got a bigger one up here. See this one here. We got some more over there. Yeah, so we got tomatoes coming. Uh, the onions are doing fantastic. They're looking really good. These are regular onions. These are just green onions. The radishes look a little rough, like the leaves look a little rough, like it wasn't draining well on the ground over there. So I'm glad I got, the, got it up on the table. They may drain better. Um, these green beans are looking really fine. <clears throat> And the green pepper, or red, the red peppers, sorry. The red peppers are looking really good. Uh, some of the leaves don't look the greatest. But they're still flowering. They're still doing really well. So I'm really hoping everything survives. We did get quite a bit of rain last week. So I didn't have to water these hardly at all. <clears throat> but yeah, I think the table turned out well. Uh, it is movable. So we can move it anywhere on the property that we need to. Maybe I should add a trailer hitch to this thing. We could just tow it around if we want to. That'd be cool. But yeah, so I, I really enjoyed building this thing and just to get open up our area over here a little bit more. So, as you can see, we are behind the garage. This erosion is just uh, continuing to get out of hand. So, I need to start something to figure this out. So, I'm going to try to put a retaining wall along this line here. About as high as this line, if not a little bit higher, maybe a couple inches higher. We'll try to go higher, but we've got to get this dirt out of here and move it up. And then what we'll do is... Uh, We'll go to the best rock farm that I've ever seen to get our rocks. And uh, we will build this up to uh, a rock wall out here. I've never done this before. A little bit here and there when I was a kid. But uh, it's something that has to be done. Something we need to get working on. It's good practice for the house too. I'm sure there's a lot of rock walls that can go in around here. And uh, I'll show you some rock walls later on in the uh, in the video while I'm getting at, at the rock farm. It's uh, my dad's house, by the way. He uh, he's been farming rocks for quite a few years, and uh, he's got pretty good crop over there that we're gonna grab. And uh, once we get a nice layer here, we will uh, fill it in with rocks. We'll see what we could do. Uh, we'll see how it goes. If it rains, all my work that I'm doing is going to go away. So hopefully we don't get any rain. Uh, it's supposed to be a pretty, a fairly nice week. So there's a hummingbird like two feet from me. He wants, he wants his hummingbird food. So we should get going and uh, yeah, enjoy me breaking my back and digging.
Chillax, plus get free estimates fast with our deck design program in store and on yards.com. Save big on Ultradeck. And check out one great deal happening now at Menard. Home Comfort System, your premier Lennox dealer in Monaco can find the Lennox heating system for your home and install it, providing years of efficient, reliable comfort. Lennox and Home Comfort Systems can help you save even more this summer. With rebates on individual units starting at $50 to $250. So, not a bad day's work. Uh, it's tough, I'm not going to lie. Ran into a bunch of stomps, a million roots, and uh, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the back. I had to cut some stumps out, I had to cut a lot of roots out. It was kind of a pain in the butt. And the poor squirrels and the hummingbirds can't get at their food because I'm over here digging. But yeah, I would say uh, we're about halfway. I know it's hard to see, but oof to me. We made it about halfway through and uh, we're gonna have to fill in quite a bit on this right side the left side not so much and I left I still have a I can dig out quite a bit in there still so I kind of it's kind of rounded right now so like from the stakes it's kind of come bows out a little bit so if I do need to take more down to put some more dirt up in there we will uh, we'll see how it goes maybe I'll put some logs there stake some logs in and we've kind of we can push push the dirt in and kind of level it off and then start the rocks and then throw some remaining dirt in there but yeah halfway not too bad it is definitely rough work though thanks All right, guys, this is her so far. We got a, a good line down here. And uh, we got a lot of dirt up on top. So down here will be the wall. Uh, I still have a little bit of digging to do around that backside. There's a tree over there. I got to get that tree out of there. I got to take a little bit out. But I wanted to get this kind of leveled off today so I could kind of see where we need more dirt. And as you can see, like the string line, there's a little bow out in the middle right there, which I didn't kind of do on purpose, but maybe I did. That if we do need more dirt, I can pull some dirt from that center line and push it to where we need it. Now, this is gonna have to come up a whole lot more where these logs are. It's gonna have to come up some our rock wall will be built up and I'll start pulling more dirt in and then we'll start leveling it off. And I would like to get it to be roughly about as high as here. We'll see, that's a nice gradual slope away from the garage. It's supposed to rain tomorrow and I don't like that high spot on that side. All that dirt needs to come down here. It needs to be pushed this way at least a bit of it so we need some more in this corner right here so we can raise this corner up so if the runoff does come it doesn't break our wall out it it's, goes on the side of it and uh so we're gonna have to push some of that dirt down here i'm not sure how we're gonna do that yet i'm gonna have to figure that out as we go but i know all that dirt there's way too much dirt on that side and not enough dirt on this side so all this dirt needs to come down be pushed down here so 
figure out a good way to do that. I don't know. Maybe it's just shovel load by shovel load. I'm not 100% sure what the best way is, but I know we need to pull some of this dirt at least into the middle, but a lot of it needs to come over here. Now we can dig this down a little bit and we can move this, but the wall will be right here. And she's looking good so far. Uh, tomorrow we'll go get some rocks and I'll give you a good example of what rock walls look like. And uh, hopefully I can duplicate it. All right, we got our first load of rocks. I don't want to overweigh the trailer. I'm not sure how much this rocks weighs. We'll see how this load goes. But check out this uh, rock farm. All up in here. Homegrown. All day long. Here's uh, rock walls. What they should look like. You can see them across the river. And uh, just a massive amount of rock walls everywhere. These are uh, built by my dad. Years and years and years of building. Hopefully mine looks something similar to that. Maybe. Well, good morning folks. It's another day out here. Another rock building day. Rock wall building day. If that makes more sense. Uh, we do have a little bit of a load here. We're going to try to download these today and uh, set them up down the way. There is a few little spots we got to fix up. There's a little bit of uh, prep work I need to do because what I would like to do is somehow be able to get the four-wheeler down there by the wall. One, it might be a lot easier hauling a uh, trailer load of rocks from this trailer to the four-wheeler trailer down there and then we can set up instead of taking one rock walking it all the way down so we're going to try to make this a little bit easier and see if it's even feasible if it's possible to uh, create some type of trail that we can get in and kind of get around if not then we have to go the old-fashioned way of grabbing one rock at a time and walking it down the hill and I prefer not to do that, but we'll see how it goes, and we'll get this uh, we'll get this thing going. sketchy going down this hill and trying to turn it into the wall where we need it. I'm just going to grab just a few rocks this time. I don't know how many pounds that is. Probably, probably 100, 200 pounds. But I'm just going to try to slowly make our way down here. I don't think the camera does it any justice. But this is a pretty steep hill with some nasty drop-offs so hopefully we don't I guess this is our spot.
All right, we got our first layer down. She's packed in as tight as I can get it anyway. And uh, we may have to dig out a little bit more in here, which we need dirt anyway. So it'll be good to, we'll dig out a little bit more so we can fit the next layer on top of this layer. But uh, yes, looking good. I still need to take out this tree on the end and uh, I still need to dig out a little bit more. So we got uh, a little bit more work to do over here digging. We do need some more dirt. But I wanted to get the rocks down here. So we got a little pile left here. We got a little pile left here. And uh, we got one more wagon full. And I'd like to empty that out so I can fill the wagon full of dirt and then move it to this side. Because that side, as you can see from here, it's a really good angle. You can see that that side's high, higher than the, the siding on the house. So a lot of that dirt's gonna have to, well, we'll be able to pull that down up into here, but we're gonna need a lot more dirt on this side to pull it down once we get the wall up to about this level. So we got a lot of dirt. We need a lot of dirt. We'll get a lot of dirt somehow, some way. We'll figure it out, but so far so good. It's looking good. Good morning guys it's another beautiful day out here gosh beautiful very few clouds in the sky it's gonna be sunny so breezy but that feels good because we're gonna be working you know what we're doing let's just get to it boom So we got our two layers all the way around and I worked on this corner down here. Not exactly happy with it. I think it'll do the job. It's got a it's quite big slope in it. But I think it's gonna do, and we're getting there. We're moving right along. We'll see what we can get done tomorrow. Well, we got another load of rocks out here. Another beautiful day out here. 
got some pretty rocks and some nice ones. All right, well, we got three, three good layers all the way down to the end. Now, and I tell you, this was a, this was a solid work week. I mean, I did, I worked on this thing every single day this week, except for Tuesday. And I'll tell you, this was, this was no joke to get all these in between grabbing all the rocks loading all the rocks unloading all the rocks and then loading them up again unloading them again finally getting them into the the hole digging this place out and i'm still not done i am happy with our progress this week so i i do believe i mean i'm no professional by any means and we're looking at getting some rain tomorrow morning and we'll see if, if uh we're gonna get some torrential downpours and we're gonna lose some dirt in our rocks and we'll see how they hold up like i said i'm no professional this is my first time building one of these on my own and uh i'm super happy with the, the way it looks i mean it's not perfect by any means but I would like to say, I think it looks pretty good. And I'm going to leave you for the week. Happy 4th of July. Be safe out there. And I appreciate everything. Peace.